today. From Soldier Field in Chicago, this is the National Football League. 22 men ready to do battle. It's time to dance. And off we go from Soldier Field. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the inline. Now here comes Teddy Bridgewater. First round pick back in 2014 as he looks to command this Panther offense. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with you, balance, because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. And Thomas seems to be in some pain. He's still on the ground. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. Pressure and he's taken down. A bear sack. That sack by Khalil Mack. Well, that was an interesting little chess match there because the offense went empty set. No running backs in the backfield. So they're trying to get people out into a route pretty quickly. But guess what? The defense sees that. They go ahead and move, it, move themselves into a blitzing situation and come right after the quarterback. They had more guys there than they could block. Now on is the punter Charlton now as he's able to get this one away. Down the numbers. There he goes. And he takes it all the way, but there is a flag down. So hold the celebration. This one's coming back. Kick catch interference. Kicking team. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. minute and already a trip to the red zone. They've got a first and 10 at the 11. Now it's Trubisky. Flushed out right. Now he'll pull it down. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Second and one from the two. A gain of nine brings up second and one. Trubisky will throw. And he is in. Touchdown Chicago. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Bears have taken the early lead. He didn't originally want to run, but he didn't see anything in the passing game, so he scrambled. And wouldn't you know it, he scores a touchdown anyway. It's awfully nice to have a quarterback who can make things happen with his legs. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. He's got it to make it 7 0 in favor of the Bears. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. In plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, Pater. O'Donnell, the kickoff for Chicago. After the touchdown, on is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Second and Bridgewater, a play fake to McCaffrey. He'll look to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Robbie Anderson, the man he was looking for. And now it's third down. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. Now he's hit, and Bridgewater loses the football. And this is picked up by the Bears. And they bring this one back. A fumble return for a Bears touchdown. Touchdown. 
And Charles, look at the big fella. What a rumble that was. Not only to scoop it, but then take it the rest of the way for the touchdown. And now you know they're going to have to hear about it from now on. The defensive backs, he's going to want to run with them, do their drills, the whole deal. He thinks he's the pace setter now. It doesn't matter what happens in practice this week. He's smiling. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So not only the cough-up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way. The fumble return for a touchdown. Matt O'Donnell to kick off for Chicago. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. On the return, it's Farrow Cooper. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And that last possession, really a gut punch. You seemingly had it working. You were in the midst of a very strong drive, then suddenly to fumble, and you're watching the back of a defender's jersey as he brings it all the way in the other direction. There's not much more I can add to that. I thought you summarized it perfectly, partner. You've just got to regroup and start putting another drive together. That's all you can do. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Bridgewater going to give this to McCaffrey. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. He's brought down at the 42-yard line. 14-0 to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. 14. Panthers nothing. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Gibson. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. After the interception, here's Trubisky escaping the pressure right. That's caught by Montgomery. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. David Montgomery. 49 yards, and the Bears will add on to their lead. And that's another route that defenders would vote to take out of the game. The wheel route? Oh, without a doubt. You're just trying to move everybody in one direction. And whether it's a running back or another receiver, as they zip out on the sideline, you've got a problem on your hands. Yeah, well, the defenders hate it there. It happened, and it resulted in a touchdown. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see. Just one play resulting in the touchdown. Pat O'Donnell to kick off for Chicago. After the touchdown on is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. Cooper on the return. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Cooper on the return. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 20. Teddy Bridgewater and his Panthers ready to go again. In second quarter, they're down big already. He's struggling as well. They've got to find something here. He's got to find something on this drive. And sometimes you take on all that extra pressure on yourself. And maybe you have to disperse it a little bit. Lean on some other people. Lean on your teammates. Find someone who can take the pressure off and get the ball in their hands for a while. Or this, if he doesn't, this is getting out of hand, or it could get worse. He was looking to get that one to DJ Moore. And that takes us from second to third down. From the gun, Bridgewater. And a sideline pass that's caught by Thomas. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. It just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. Officially just 27 yards there on the punt. And this offense will take over right at the midfield strike with a first and 10. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Eluding the pressure right. And he finds Montgomery complete. 
And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A minute 52 to play until halftime. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. And Miller will pull this one in. He's got it for the Bears touchdown. Anthony Miller there to make the grab as the Bears push further out in front. And he shows some mobility there, getting outside the tackles, moving to the right, making a nice play. He had the whole field in front of him and was able to actually throw it about where he was looking, right? And he said he, said he moved to the right, had his vision there, and put a nice pass into the end zone for a touchdown. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 0 now. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two for Chicago. After the touchdown, on is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. Cooper on the return. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 27 yard there's dj moore as he and the rest of the offense head back out there looking down at the stats here realizing he has no catches they targeted him twice but no catches so how do they get him more involved charles you make sure he touches it on routes that he likes to run maybe even run a reverse or some type of a jet sweep so he gets his hands on the ball and get him active and involved in the game you just try and find ways to get him going and it doesn't have to be something that's big downfield. Maybe kind of like in basketball, just a shooter, seeing the ball go through you, get him a rep, get him more comfortable. I agree with that totally. Maybe set that solid screen and give him an easy look. Well, to this point, no catches. It's a Carolina first down on a gain of 16. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Malone Nichols, what a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. And couldn't hang on third down. It's third down. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. But they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments, and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. At their own 47-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Oh, nearly a disaster there on the check down. But they'll get it back. It's now second and 10. Again on second and 10, it's Trubisky. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right? And this is caught inside the five. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Cole Komet in the final seconds of the first half as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. As he was shuffling right out of the pocket, you could just tell he was going to take a shot downfield. He had his eyes down there the whole way. He certainly did. He wasn't taking off to go, right? When he was flush from the pocket, a lot of times you see him, eyes will drop, ball will get tucked, and he takes off, becomes a running back. But as you noted, he stayed alive as a passer. Tremendous body control and a pretty good arm there, too. The extra point splits the uprights, and a route is on here in this first half. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And it looks like the Panthers' hands team does its job. 
The onside kick recovered by Carolina. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. Panthers nothing. Set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. But one thing I know for sure, the standard speech is to treat the game like it's tied. But when you have an advantage, they also tell you, make sure you don't get your foot off the gas. Message received. On first down, Trubisky flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Looking to throw again on second down. Trubisky. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. The product of Jersey City to hear Whitehead on the sack. Third down. On third down, Trubisky flush to his right. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first. But at least it's fourth down. He was covered by Dante Jackson. They'll indeed go for it with Trubisky. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. Everyone gears up for third down, talks about the importance of it. But fourth down, that's truly the moment of truth play, isn't it? Everything's dialed. On first and 10, Bridgewater. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Complete to Christian. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Throwing again on second down. Bridgewater toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Akeem Hicks picks up his second sack of the afternoon. That's the second sack of the game. The best defensive ends, they do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. Here's the Panthers punter now as he's on to kick it away. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. First and 10. At their own. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. K1 short with a sack. That's 315 pounds of man right there. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. And not a whole lot to speak of there, so bring him down shy of the 20. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Panthers, nothing. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And this is caught. It's Jimmy Graham. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. They get 15, but they still needed a little bit more. Fourth down. So much about offense. And now on fourth and one, it's a fake. Wiggles free. And bulldozing through multiple tackles. And the gamble pays off. They get the first. The fake punt gets them 10, and that changes things as they've got a first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll go to Montgomery to try to wind some clock. He had a great strong move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. The ball carrier. The former LSU Tiger Dante Jackson on the stop. Four yards on the pickup. Second down. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Six yards the pickup, and that's a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. 
First down, here's the run with Montgomery. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Dante Jackson on the tackle. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 38-yard line. Now Trubisky going to give this to Montgomery. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Now third and four. Now Trubisky to throw. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Yitor Gross Matos with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And the Panthers will get the football back. One last shot now for Bridgewater. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. And that will write a finish to this ball game. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one.